ladies and gentlemen welcome to the channel today we are going to learn how to draw the lewis dose structure for sulfur tetrafluoride right okay to draw the lewis dose structure for sulfur tetrafluoride at first we have to find the valence electron of sulfur then fluorine right look at here the atomic number of sulfur is 16 so if you do the electronic configuration of sulfur then you will get this look at here here the outermost shell is third shell right in third shell you have d orbital and which is empty we know that <coughs> valency shell is the outermost shell that is for valency shell we, we have to find out the maximum value of principal quantum number so here in valency shell we have empty orbital that is 3d and the electrons in valency shell are called valency electrons so for sulfur we have 2 plus 4 2 plus 4 that is 6 valency electron for sulfur right valency electron okay we have another way to find out the valency electron of sulfur the group number tells us the number of valency electron for the element look at here Sulfur is an element of group 6A. That's why if you, uh, if you deduct this A, that's why the valence electron of sulfur is 6. And or sulfur is an uh, element of uh, 16, group 16. If you delete the first digit, then you are getting 6. So the valence electron of sulfur is 6. Now we have to find out the valence electron of Chlorine, right? Look at here. The atomic number of fluorine is 9. So if you do the electronic configuration, you will get this 1s2, 2s2, 2p5, right? So here the outermost shell is n equal to 2. So that is why the valency electron is second shell. The valency shell is second shell, and in valency shell we have 2 plus 5, that is 2 plus 5 that is we have 7 valence electron for fluorine or we have alternative way fluorine is element of group 7a if you deduct the a then you are getting 7 or fluorine is a group of 17 so if you deduct the first digit then you will get 7 so in the second step we will find the total number of valence electron in sulfur so we know that one sulfur provides six valence electron and one fluorine provide seven valence electron but we have here four fluorine so totally will for fluorine we'll get here 28 so if we add six plus 28 then we are we'll get 34 valence electron right so in sulfur tetrafluoride, totally we have 34 valence electron. Now we have to find out the central atom. In the third step, we will find out the central atom in sulfur tetrafluoride. So central atom is that kind of atom that is single or, th or that has lower electronegativity. So uh, sulfur is single and it has electronegativity lower than fluorine. So sulfur is the central atom. In the fourth state, I have to connect. I have to connect uh, central atom with outer atom. Here, outer atom is fluorine by a single bond, right? So we have connected four fluorine atoms with with the central atom. One line means two valence electron right look at here so i can express this structure like this sulfur right this structure and this structure is the same look at here in sulfur tetrachloride totally we have 34 but here we have used 2, 4, 6, 8. So 34 minus 8. So we have 
so we have 26 right now we'll use this 26 valence electron to to satisfy the octet for outer atom first right then will satisfy the octet for sulfur so look at here here fluorine has two valence electron so we need more six valence electron right now chlorine has eight valence electrons so this chlorine will also take six So look at here, uh, we have used 2, 4, 6, then 6, 12, 18, 18, then here 18, 18, 20, 22, 24, but we have, uh, we have 26, so 26 minus 24, that is we have 2 left this two electron will come over the sulfur right so look at here this uh, this fluorine has eight right the two four six eight but this sulfur two four six eight ten this sulfur has ten valence electron in in its valence shell this is because of the presence of d orbital in the valence shell right okay so if i if i complete this structure then i have to place here look at here i have to place here two 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 At last, I have to place here more two electrons, right? However, now we will find out the formal charge, right? Look at here. Formal charge is equal to valence electron minus dots minus line, right? We will look at here Val formal charge is equal to valence electron minus dots minus line so if i find the formal charge for this chlorine this fluorine the valency uh, electrons for fluorine is seven from electronic configuration or group number then dot attached to this fluorine is minus six minus line attached to this fluorine is one so basically we are getting here zero so the formal charge of this fluorine is zero all these fluorine are symmetrical so all will have zero formal charge right now we have to find out the uh, formal charge for this uh, sulfur so you know that the valence electron of sulfur is six then dots attached to this sulfur is two then line attached to the sulfur is 4 so basically we are getting 0 so the formal charge for this sulfur is 0 so all the atoms of sulfur tetrafluoride has 0 formal charge so this is the best Lewis structure uh, I have a special blog post you can read that blog post in the description box of this video right from the description box of this video look at here we have another formula for formal charge uh, valence electrons minus unbonded electrons that is dot means unbonded electrons minus instead of lines we can write bonded electrons divided by two right for example if i uh, find out uh, the formal charge for fluorine then valence electron we know is 7 then unbonded electron to fluorine is 6 minus bonded electron for this fluorine is 2 here 
and divided by 2 from so we are getting here 7 minus 6 minus 1 so basically you are getting 0 so the formal charge of this fluorine will be 0 and if I apply this formula to sulfur the, then what will happen look at here the valency electron of sulfur is 6 unbonded electron to the sulfur is 2 minus bonded electron of the sulfur is 2 4 6 8 8 divided by 2 so basically you are getting here 0 so the former charge of this sulfur is 0 so thank you for viewing this video